What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness. Wanted to go over the CD workout series with you real quick. Before I start this video, here's a couple of pictures from my Instagram and Twitter. If you don't follow me, all the information will be in the description box. Check me out out there. Right. The cool thing about Instagram that I like is I can put a picture up and type a little message and then I can text back and forth to people around the world. You guys please follow me there. Here's the rest of the video. Firstly, CD stands for compact disc. For everybody that was asking what that stood for, uh, it's basically a disc with tons of music on it, anywhere from 45 minutes to a couple of hours. It can be, uh, you know, whatever kind of music you want it to be that's going to get you going for a workout. Uh, I've done this for about 20 years. I do it every three to six months. I know I said six months before, but I probably do it a little bit more often. I only will do this workout once, and then I'll go back to another program that I was on before or change my programs up. Uh, it's pretty taxing. I'm going to tell you right now, every body part that I've done this workout on in the last week is taxed. I'm telling you, there's a little soreness everywhere, and there's a whole lot of tightness everywhere, and that is not just a pump. I'm telling you, you're tearing your muscles down. Uh, you're refueling your building so it may or may not be for you try it out if you like it hey keep going with it and if you don't well no problem at least uh, you tried it out so again what I like to do is grab my favorite CD of choice for that day pick one body part pick one exercise for that body part turn the CD on of course I can stretch out and range of motion and do warm-up exercises and then I jump in it I pick a weight that's going to pull me down after about 10 reps. I could probably do 15 or 20, but I'm going to do 10 reps, uh, probably anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 sets. So, you know, you don't want to have a weight that's so heavy that you can barely get 10, and on the third or fourth set, you're completely taxed. So I like to do pause reps with everything that I can, as strict movement as possible, and I go for it. Like this week, all the exercises that I did are in the description box below. And I think, because I liked it so much, I'm going to do it for another week. And I will choose different exercises for this next week. So, an example, I did the very slightly inclined dumbbell chest press. Uh, I'll do either bench press or decline press or hammer press or pec deck or something. I did squats last time. I'll probably do leg press this time. I did seated hammer rows the last week. I'll probably do pull downs. So, again... I will do one exercise for 10 repetitions only. It's going to be medium to medium heavy weight. I'm going to do it the entire CD or until I can't do 10 repetitions. Now, I failed on the chest press. I failed on the seated row. And I actually failed on the bicep curls. I try to record anywhere from 5 to 6 of the sets, but I'm getting anywhere from 10 to 15 to even 20 sets of 10 repetitions. Now, again, this may not be for you, but try it out if you like it. Hey, you learned something new. If it didn't, you at least tried it. Again, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to do it one more time. I did get asked what the rest period was. I usually rest anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds, and I don't really count because I just I don't. I just go when I feel like I can jump in there and get some more. I try to get at least one, if not two, if maybe even three, depending on how long the song is, three sets into one song. Until next time, Intensity Rules, Train Hardcore. I'm going to do this CD workout series one more week, and we'll see you next video. Yeah! Leave with a pause, baby.